Today we're going to look at handshake problem, an advanced version of it. We're going to use graph theory to solve this problem. The question is, if you have n people, what is the minimum number of handshakes such that when you pick any three out of the n people, there must exist one handshake between the two people? This question requires probably a little bit more thinking than the typical handshake problem you have seen. So if that is the case, pause the video, try to figure out the solution yourself. Right. So you cannot have three people that they do not have any handshakes with each other at all. For this group N, what is the minimum number of handshakes in total? When you see this kind of problem, the first thing you want to do is try out with small numbers. For example, N equals 3, 4, 5, right? And then you look for patterns. This is how you solve the problems. So let's consider N equal three cases. So here I'm using the dots representing people. So you have at least one handshake. We make the connection to representing that they have a handshake. So A equal to three looks like the answer is one. How about A equal to four? In that case, if you pick any three, we need to make a connection here. So at least this three, you have one handshake. Now, for this new one, however, we have an issue. So we need to make another connection in order to satisfy that. So do we need more? The answer is no. So for n equal to 5, now you have to pick any two makes a connection. All right? The remaining three, you need at least one connection to start with. So once you have that, do we need more? The answer is yes. So for this three, there's no connection. So you need to make an, at least one connection. It's similarly for, this, for the other three. So eventually, you make another connection and yet another connection. So you need to make at least one of the three connections here, right? And for the other three, you also need to make one. So the common one, common edge is going to be the, in the triangle here. All right, so that will make it so that any three would satisfy this constraint. So recap, for angle three, you need at least one handshake, angle four, two handshakes, for angle five, you need at least four handshakes. That's the answer. Now, how about more generic case? If you have not found an answer, you should pause the video again, try to find an answer for other ends. We're going to represent each person with a vertex. We're going to represent the handshake by making the connection between two vertices. They're representing they have a handshake, right? So in the first graph, there are three people, three handshakes. And here there are four people, four handshakes. Here there are five people and four handshakes. Okay, that's minimum in order to satisfy our constraints. So basically, our problem is in a graph with n vertices, what is the minimum number of edges such that if you pick any three out of the n vertices, there exists at least one edges among the three. Another common concept is bipartite graphs. That is a graph where vertices can be divided into two groups, and then there's no edge within the group, or the edges are between the two groups. That is, for example, I have red and black, four on the left hand side, five on the right hand side. The connection is only between left and right. You cannot make a connection among red or among blacks. That's bipartite graph. In mathematics, there are a lot of time there's a concept of what is called a dual problem. So you're gonna see that in optimization and in graph theory. Now in our case, we're gonna explore that. Let's say for a graph, what if we focus on the edge that are not part of a handshake graph? If people do not make a handshake, what is the relation in that type of graph? Here comes the concept of complementary graph. That is a graph G, the complements of G 
is going to be where we're going to make connections if in the original graph there is no connection. If in the original graph there is connection, we do not have connection. That's complement of each other. Okay. So for example, here, this is the original graph, right? Here is complement graph where we make all the connections where in the original graph there's no connections. They are complementary to each other. If three people there's no handshake among them, in the complementary graph, they would have complete graph. They shake hands with each other. So the three handshakes. Or in graph theory terminology, independent set of size three where that's the case versus a complete subgraph that is a clique of size three. With that, we're going to have a dual problem of our original problem. That is in a graph, what is the minimum number of edges we're looking for such that for any three vertices, there exists at least one edge. That is, what is the minimum number of edges such that there's no independent set of size three? That's original problem we're trying to solve. And the dual problem here is in a graph G prime, what is the maximum number of edges so that there is no triangle? In other words, there's no clique of size three. So we try to solve the original problem, but what if the dual problem is easier to solve? So the solution here, let's look at that dual problem. In G prime, what is the maximum number such that we're not going to have a triangle, right? We're not going to have a clique size of three. That's the dual problem here for n equals seven. And the solution here is we're going to use bipartite graph. We're going to divide the group into three and four and red and black. So this is a bipartite graph. We make all the possible connection between red and black. And there's no triangle. There's a little clique of size three. If you make any connection among the red, you're going to form a triangle. The maximum number of edges here, in our case, is going to be 3 times 4, 4, which is 12 edges. What is the original problem? Try to find out what is the minimum number of edges so that you do not have independent set of size 3. And the answer is complement of the graph here, which means there's no connection between red and black, and you make all the connection among the red and among the black. That is, you have two complete subgraph and there's no connection between the two groups that's the solution to the original problem that is for n equals seven and the answer here is three handshakes and six handshakes total nine handshakes now what about a generic solution for n divide n into two groups that depends on if it's even or odd the division would be different and then the answer in the closed form will be different. I'm going to skip the step. And if this is an exercise, please share your answers in the comments below. So what we learned is that graph theory provides an elegant approach to tackle some problems. It is both intuitive and rigorous to visualize and to analyze the solution. Now, if you follow the video, I'm sure you may have a lot of questions to ask or discuss do that. Please use the comments below for your questions or comments. In the meantime, for this and other interesting math problems, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.